All triple digit temps are back yeah. in the forecast starting Thursday. And when it's that hot, the job is extra hard on postal workers. CBS 410's Ashley Claster is live in the newsroom to show you what makes it so challenging. Yeah, Patty Shelton, I took a ride inside of a mail truck today to see what it was like on a hot day like this. The letter carrier I met says it's not easy, but the deliveries have to get done for the community. Every summer I do it every summer. Even in the desert sun. Somebody's got to do it. Michael Duran says his mission is your mail. The prime summer months for everybody going on vacation. <laughs> Pick up the slack. I mean, we got to get the mail out. The hardest part of his job. Working in the heat. He's delivered mail in El Paso a long time. 19 summers. Letter carriers get in and out of the truck hundreds of times a day. It's like 10 degrees hotter in here. It's all metal inside. The truck isn't exactly comfortable. None of them have air conditioners. But he tries to make it work. We have this fan right here. But it just feels like a blow dryer. Just blowing hot air. He packs his water jug every day. Sunscreen. Uh, sunglasses, a hat. Sometimes neighbors leave him notes. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks for everything you do. But he says on days like this, Take care. the best Take care. thing a neighbor can do is bring out a cold water bottle. And I really appreciate it. They help me out a lot. So anybody that does a service for your home, just keep an eye out for them. Just say hello, maybe a bottle of water or something. and. Maybe something warm in the winter. But Duran says the heat and the sweat and the long hours are all worth it when... When somebody's expecting a package or a letter or something and I deliver to them and they're, they're glad to get it. Duran tells me sometimes neighbors who leave early for work will leave him a frozen water inside of the mailbox. Reporting live in the newsroom, Ashley Claster, CBS 4 at 10.